Can you see the screen? The first question is the. Please do it. Yes, please, everyone. Please turn on your camera. The pair of equation. Two x plus three y minus five is equal to zero, and dx minus six y minus eight is equal to zero does not have. A unique solution when P is equal to choose up one. Please do it now. Solution infinitely many solution no solution we have already discussed it in discuss these cases in our class Yes, what will be the correct answer?
yes what will be the correct option anyone who have already done or if you are trying what you have done can you please let me know yes Alvina, Sunal, Ifra, Abdul. This is the first question I have given over here. Please try it. Try it. Okay. We'll be discussing. Okay, let's discuss it. Okay, it says that the pair of equation two x plus three y minus five is equal to zero and p x minus six y minus eight is equal to zero. These two equations we are having does not have a unique solution. Now here I am writing for unique solution. It was a one by a two must not be equal to b one by b two. Okay. This condition you must have learned for unique solution for infinitely many solution, infinitely many solution. It was a one by a two is equals to b one by b two is equals to c one by c two. Okay, and for no solution, for no solution, it was. A one by A two is equals to B one by B two, but not equals to C one by C two. Yes or no? Have you learned these three rules in this chapter? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here, what does the question says? The question says does not have a unique solution. It must not have a unique solution. Okay. So must not have a unique solution. This case we don't have to take. So the next two from the next two, which case we have to take? Okay. If it does not have a unique solution, then maybe it has infinitely many solution, or maybe it has no solution. Okay. Maybe it has infinitely many solution, or maybe it has no solution. Now in these two cases, these two are exactly same. A one by A two and B one by B two both has to be same. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. If we will compare only A one by A two with B one by B two, then we will we will be on the track. Okay, we can say that we have used a condition which is not unique, which is not unique because unique means both has to be same. Okay, so we can say that we can say that not Not unique means doesn't have a unique solution. That means we can take a one by a two is equals to b one b one by b two. Let me write it. B one by b two. Can we say that if it does not have a unique solution, that means we can take it a one by a two is equals to b one by b two. Yes or no? Because unique solution means both must not be same, and we are taking both as the same. Can we take that? Yes, we can take that. 
Now what is A1, what is A2, what is B1, what is B2? Again, I am repeating here. The question says the pair of equation 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 and px minus 6y minus 8 is equal to 0 does not have a unique solution then b is equal to so far we have only done those questions where it, it used to be clearly given that these two equations have a unique solution these two equations have infinitely many solutions these two equations have no solution then find a b p q whatever but this question is quite different okay this question is quite different here it says that the pair of equation this two does not have a unique solution now here i have written all the formulas all the conditions where they are the unique solutions means a1 by a2 must not be equals to b1 by b2 infinitely many solution this is the scenario no solution this is the scenario okay i'm rubbing this uh, rectangular box and all that. so these are the conditions which you must have learned okay here if it doesn't have a unique solution that means we can take a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 so far, is it clear to everyone? Yes, Zunar, Albina. Yes. Abdul, yes, ma'am. Adyan. Okay. So we can take that. Then let's compare A1 is A1. A1 by A2 will be. Who will say what will be A1 by A2? A1 is. Please tell me, please unmute yourself, anyone, and tell me what is A1, what is A2. 2 by B. Yes. And B1 by B2 is? 3 by 6, 3 by minus 6. Perfect. Let's compare it. You will be getting the value of B, right? Right? B will be, please find it. It will be B. Yes, what will be P? If 2 by P is equals to 3 by minus 6, then P will be? Ma'am, is it minus 4? it is minus 4. Everyone getting the same. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's do If the system Of equations y six plus three y is equals to seven and a plus b plus plus two a minus b y is equals to twenty one has infinitely many solutions. After that, we will be taking the next chapter that is quadratic equations. Okay, please do it. This is the last question.
yes what are you getting a and b value Finding it. Do it and let me move. Because this is quite simple. Okay. This is simple. Please do it and let me know A and B value. Have you got A and B value? Anyone is doing it over here? Adyan, Zunat, Ifra, Alvina, Abdul. You doing it? What you got? Let's check it. Infinitely many solutions. We know that A1 by A must be equals to B1 by B2 must be equals to C1 by C2. Let's do the comparison. So when we will do the comparison, we'll be getting 2 by A2 is A plus B2 is equals to B1 is 3 by B2 is 2A minus B2 is equals to C7 by 21. Okay. Now that day I was telling you that you can compare any two ratio, the first and second one. Okay, second and third one or the first with the last one. You can compare any two ratio over here. So let's compare the first one with the last one. Last one is 7 by 21 which can be written as 1 by 3. 1 by 3. So we can say that A plus B is 6. Equation number 1. It's that simple. Okay. And 3 by 2A minus B. We can compare it with 1 by 3. So 2A minus B will be 9. Equation number 2. Equation 1 is there. Equation 2 is there. We just have to solve it for A and B value. You will be able to do it, right? Let me give the next question. Now, uh, I'm going to take question from quadratic equation. Because I can see all the questions are same only in pair of linear equation in two variables. Okay. 
whatever we were supposed to discuss i think we have discussed in between if i'll be getting any new type of question of course i'll be taking it over so quadratic equation chapter 4 we are going to start okay let's do few questions the quadratic equations equation x cube minus 2kx plus 5k is equals to 0 has equal root when k is equals to find the value of k from Okay, condition is given already that it has equal root. Options are zero, ten, five. It's like this: zero comma ten, and here zero comma five. So option A and option B, two two values are given. Zero also ten also. Option B is just ten. Option C is just five. Option D is zero also five also. Check it. Please check it. मैम ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन बी बी ओके डी डी मैम लास्ट फोर्थ वन यस एवरीवन इज गेटिंग द सेम इज इट ऑप्शन बी यस मैम द कोऑपरेटिव इक्वेशन दिस हैज इक्वल रूट लेट्स चेक इट ओके इक्वल रूट मींस डिस्क्रिमिनेंट मस्ट बी इक्वल्स टू 0 ओके डिस्क्रिमिनेंट मींस b स्क्वायर माइनस 4 is That must be zero. Okay. What is b? B over here is this minus two k. That's why minus four into a. Wait. Have I written x cube here? Wait just a second. It was x square and it must be x square. Okay. This is by mistake. I ended up writing x cube. Yeah, it has to be x square because we are talking about quadrant. Okay, so that was printing the step. Four into one into c. C is five k is equals to zero. Okay, let's check it. 
we are getting 4k square minus 20k is equals to 0. 4k we can take out common k minus 5 is equals to 0. Yes, it is k value will be 0 and k value will be 5. Perfect. Okay, let's do the next question. Anyone having any confusion over here how to solve it? Have you understood the process, Abdul? Atyan, yes. are you doing it? Have you understood how we are doing it? Yes, ma'am, I got the correct answer. Okay. You have already got the correct answer. Okay. Discriminant. Yeah, let me give you the next question. If the quadratic equation, if the quadratic equation square plus k x plus k minus 1 plus 2 has again again I have got the same question equal roots okay find k please do it It is exactly like the previous one.
Yes, what you got? Yes. What you got? The value of k will be what? Yes, k will be. Ma'am, k it could be two by three or minus one. Two by three or minus one. Okay, two values you are getting, Alvina, just like the previous case. Yeah. Yes, Zunad, what are you getting? Adyan, Ifra, Abdul, what are you getting? Ma'am, we also had to equate this equation, right, to zero. This equation. This equation, this quadratic equation, we had to equate it with zero, right? Equals to zero minus four. Yeah. So let's do it. Okay, let's do it. We understand that equal root means equal root means discriminant is equals to zero. Formula for discriminant is b square minus 4ac that must be equals to 0. Now what is b? What is a? What is c? Who will say what is b? What is a? What is c? Okay, Alvina, you only. Okay, since you have done and they are not responding, maybe they are they have not done. So can you tell me what is b? What is a? What is c? Ma'am, B will be 4K. B will be 4K. A will be? Uh, A is 1. And C will be? C will be K into K minus 1. Plus 2. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, see how beautifully C has... Uh, understood that what will be A, what will be B, what will be C. Now, after giving the same type of question, the previous question was exactly same, but why I have given this one? And here again and again on daily basis, I'm saying I'm trying to take new type of questions and all. So, of course, here you must understand how to identify A, B, and C. That's why I have given this question to you. Okay? So, let me clear it. A, will be the coefficient of x square is a. You can see only one x square is there and that coefficient is 1. So, a is 1. Okay. Coefficient of x is b. Okay. And what is multiplied with x? If you will open the bracket, you will find that only 4k. k into 4. Only 4k is multiplied with x. Whatever is multiplied with x Whatever is the coefficient of x, that is only b. So, b is just 4k. And all the remaining term, that is c. So, this k, this k multiplied with this completely and this 2 also. Everything is c. Okay. Let's write it. b is, b is 4k. Anyone having any confusion? While understanding what is A, what is B, what is C? 4 into A into C. C is, C is C. Here we have written K into K minus 1 and plus 2 also. So let's open the bracket. K square minus K plus 2. Okay, this is C. This is C. We are writing it in a bracket because we understand this complete. It's C b square minus 4ac. Okay. Now, let's do the squaring over here. That is equal to 0. 
4k whole square will be 16k square minus 4 into 1 just 4 in bracket k square minus k plus 2 is there so let's multiply minus 4k square now we have to be very careful because here subtraction sign is there and we are opening the bracket okay so this 4 we are going to multiply with the second term that is minus k it will be plus or minus zunal it will be plus or minus if we will multiply minus 4 with k square minus k plus 2. I have written the first term that is minus 4k square. I have written it over. I am asking what will be the second term? What will be the third term? So now it will be minus. minus. It will be minus. Yeah. Uh, so what shall I write? Please tell me. I am writing it over. Oh, I know I'll be plus. minus. Yeah. When you will multiply this minus 4 with minus k, will it be four plus 4k or minus 4k? Plus. plus okay. It will be plus 4k. That's what uh, I'm trying to just see that here minus 4 multiplied with plus 2 will be minus 4 multiplied with plus 2. It will be plus 8 or minus 8? Yes, so that minus 8. Minus 8, okay. Let's try it. That is equals to 0, so 16k square, 4k square, 12k square, plus 4k. Minus 8 is equals to 0. Now let's take out common. We will be taking out 4 common. Okay. 3k square plus k minus 2 is equals to 0. This k 4 we can shift to another side. 0 by 4 is just okay. So 3k square k minus 2 is there. 3k square plus k minus 2 is there. Now we need to find the value of k by splitting the middle term. Let's split the middle term. We will multiply a with c. That is 2 into 3. Please split the middle term now. Okay, I have already given the time. Let's do it. So, what factors you are getting, Alvina? Plus 3k minus 2k. This two number multiplied together is making 6. And this two number subtracted together is making the middle term. Minus 2 is equals to 0. 3k we can take out common from the first two term and we'll be left with k plus 1. Minus 2k, minus 2 only. We can take out and we'll be left with k plus 1. Yes, students, what are you doing? These these steps I am I am doing over here. You should be able to do it. Adhyan, have you done? No, ma'am. Bye. You will be able to split the middle term, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Zunad, you will be able to split the middle term, right, Zunad? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, Albina has already done. Ifra, where are you? You have just joined. You are not responding anything. Yes, Abdul, will you be able to split the middle term like this? Yes. We are getting K plus yes. 1 over here. We are getting 3k minus 2 over here. That is equals to 0. K value will be? Abdul, K value will be? Yes, Abdul, K value will be? Yes, Adhyan K value will be minus one, two by minus three. one and two by three. Yes, Alvina has already got this. Okay, 
this is how this question was very simple the main catch over here student from our batch have like when they have given the exam or test whatever they have left this question because they were having the confusion what is b what is a and i'm talking about good student okay so if if you understand what is a what is b what is c this is very basic question let's continue okay uh, so i'm giving one question try it at home just a second find please note it down find sum of of quadratic equations root two x square minus three by root two x plus one by root two is equal to zero. Please note it down. I will stop sharing the screen. 